Hello! Today I've got a hair tutorial for you, which I don't do often because for some reason whenever I do a hairdo just very quickly before work it always works out and when I try to really make it look nice for filming it just doesn't work out at all and it makes me sort of aggressive and I start just slamming the comb through my hair, ripping half my hair out. A bit of an aggression problem there. Point is, yeah, I actually wanted to do something different with a braided part on the back, but that just wouldn't work today. So instead, I decided to do a donut bun with a braid around it. Just a nice and easy hairdo for if you want to look sort of fancy, but don't want to spend 12 ages at your hair. Um, so really all you'll need for this, um, like other than the like bangs, like I happen to have bangs, but you know, just focusing on the bun here. You'll only need a comb, obviously, a hair donut in sort of the same color as your hair. Uh, two hair ties and a few boy pins and that's pretty much it. So yeah, let's get started. So I'm going to start with combing my hair forward at which point um, I sort of look like cousin it, quite frankly. But yeah, I'm just combing out my entire hair because obviously I'm also going to put a braid in it at the end. So if there's no tangles in it from the start, that's uh, quite a lot easier. And then I'm just starting to make a ponytail. Um, I'm really... Always careful not to tuck at my piercings with my hair, so yeah, that's why it always takes me a little bit of time to uh, get it to fall forward completely. And then I just shake it slightly to get my bangs out of my hair. This is optional, you could also just do this hairdo with like all your hair up if you don't have bangs or if you don't want your bangs to show. Personally on me, I think it looks better if my bangs are showing, so that's what I do. Then I just comb the back to make sure it all lays as flat as possible and then put a hair tie around it. Um, in my experience, if you feel like the ponytail is too far to the front, it's probably in the right spot. And if you feel like it's in the perfectly right spot, it's going to be too far to the back. At least it's what always happens to me. So I always drag it up as far as I can get it without getting into my bangs. And then it's usually in the exact right spot where I want it to be. And I'm only using one hair tie because it's going to be a donut and bobby pin. So it's not as if the hair tie is going to have to hold the entire ponytail. But yeah, the hair donut I'm using um, is actually, as you can see, sort of more brown than reddish. I couldn't find a red, you know, natural redhead like donut. So yeah, but this one works for my hair. Uh, I have quite thick hair, so the donut will be covered well. And yeah, at this point you can just sit straight again, which is always a nice moment. Just spread the hair over the donut, which I managed to do. Off screen, but you know, just feel around until you can't really feel the donut anymore. Then put a hair tie around it. And that's basically the base of the donut bun. I really need to find a bigger donut though. I couldn't find a bigger one at Claire, so yeah, if anyone knows where to find cheap hair donuts that are huge, then I'd love to hear about it. But yeah, then I just carefully drag all the leftover hair to one side carefully, because obviously I don't want to pull it off the donut again. And then just put a braid in it. And yeah, if you have shorter hair than me, then obviously just, you know, braid your hair as far as your hair goes. And then put it around the donut. You don't need to have hair as long as I do. And then I just pinned the donut to my uh, head a little bit tighter. Because otherwise I felt like it was sticking up too much. And I didn't like the looks of that. And then just gently wrap the um, braid around the donut. And then I just put into more bobby pins. Just to make sure it stays in place. On me this felt quite sturdy, but you could always add, add more uh, hairpins if you feel the need to. And then again, optional, I decided to tease my bangs because whenever I do a sort of classy, nice hairdo, I always for some reason feel the need to tease my bangs just because otherwise I feel like I look too, I don't know, not myself. So yeah, teasing, hairspray, combing and done. So yeah, that's the final hairdo. I hope this video was clear enough that you could actually properly see what I was doing and, you know, just kind of follow the instructions. Like I said, it's very easy. So yeah, I'm pretty sure anyone can do this. Um, so yeah, I really do want to do more like hair videos in the future. So if there's any sort of hairdos you'd like me to do a tutorial on, please ask and I'll try my best to film it for you. If my hair cooperates and doesn't, um, you know, make me go aggressive on it. I'll try my best, um, but yeah, anyway, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please click the like button, it would really help me out. And if you want to, you can also subscribe to my channel. For now, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!